So ever wondered a way, a way to actually uh, do the complicated math problems, especially on the Casio FX 300ES Plus calculator, without any fractions? Just, just six by eight divided by five is just six by five. Then actually, many people complain about this. And the, actually, this is I mean, this solution is very useful for tests. Now, instead of getting this fraction, now you will start getting decimals. Yeah, I'll show you. So watch the video to learn how. Experience, everyone used a calculator, and originally it is actually not the, as worse as a phone calculator. Originally, the main reason the calculator is there is that it's originally way better than a phone, it's more flexible, and also it had those clicky buttons. But there's a drawback. Originally, the, the calculator I am using as my daily driver right now, the Casio FX 300 ES Plus, is a scientific calculator, but with drawbacks. So I wanted to actually. Uh, I was doing some calculations, and apparently when I divided something that's a little bit unnatural, that, that actually is a, I wanted a decimal, but instead I got a fraction. I, uh, my old Texas Instrument calculator didn't do that, it actually just decimal, but something that troubled me a lot because it never gave you a fraction as an answer. Well, apparently it's for this feature, which is that you can enter in a fraction which is, uh, of a number, so I'm going to just clear of uh, everything. So I'm actually going to just delete. So I'm going, I'm going to actually show you now is actually the fraction feature. So you can insert uh, fractions, especially like for example two by four, uh, which you will have actually simplifies it for you. Which that is a nice feature. So which you should so to enable which you showing a fraction, uh, we want to actually first go to mode setup. This is a, okay. Wait, since uh, let's just go back. So, so I, I said that I'm going to go to shift mode setup, then go to number two, uh, line ten. So we're actually going to have to navigate like that. So it's now actually so you go just after pressing number two, that's up down here. You have to actually insert actually a fraction. So for example, uh, six uh, divided by five. That's the natural fraction I'm using for this. Anyway, so actually one point two. See, it's actually now uh, actually not doing the, the thing that I didn't want. But apparently, here's a weird thing about this uh, feature. So, wait a second, I'm just going to delete this. So, what I wanted, so if you want to do a fraction, so if you're going to do this fraction feature, it will just give you this. Uh, I'm going to actually press the answer here. It just simplifies it. So, actually, apparently, this is a fraction, I think. I'm assuming that I should get the, this no fun. But this is available in Casio user manual on page E9. Also, there's another method related to this uh, problem. So, if you want temporary, so actually, if you would just want to get out of this mode and go back to normal fraction, so yeah, what you're supposed to do is go to shift 9. Then they go to, go to uh, number three. All oh, it will remove everything, so that would be a little bit good. And then press equal, and then it will just press the yeah, press AC key to actually put everything back to default. But right now, actually, we really want this to be temporarily and be enabled. If we wanted to use the fraction feature here, so actually, what I'm going to do is actually, uh, actually, going to to put a fraction six divided by five. I'm going to do equal to 6 by 5. So what we're going to do is going to press this SD button. Go to zoom in. Going to press this SD button. What it will do is we'll convert it to a fraction. So if you keep pressing the SD button, it will actually uh, go to fraction and then it will go to decimal. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with other friends on the internet. And so this is Kusudas Lessons. Kusudas 50 by Kusudas. So thank you for watching this video. Bye.